Miss Belly, did you say your class would like to learn some trick by dancing? Why yes Mr. Huss, what did you have in mind? We did one dance a year or two ago. It was called the cosine cosine, sine sine. Have you heard of it? Why yes Mr. Huss, it seems that Mr. Carlson mentioned that his roof was banging and he couldn't hear himself teach once. Tell me, how does it go? First it is important that the students learn some basic ratios. Are they aware of what the sine of 30 degrees is? Oh Mr. Huss why yes. I think every student here knows that one. In fact I think they know all of their quadrant one special angles. They have to know those before we can do the dance don't they? Yes Miss Belly, do you mind if I call you that? I am going to take your word for it that they know those ratios for those angles. Well, shall we start to do the dance then? Let's do it. How about we do the sum formula for cosine of A plus B first? That would be a good place to start. First I must talk about a crazy rule I use in trig. I call it the co-rule. It usually means that when I do a formula using cosine, the sine changes. What that means is that if you have a plus to start you have to write a minus in the answer. Do you get that? No, it seems that I am a little confused. In what math book did you read about this rule? Tell me Mr. Huss, are you making up your own math again? Yes, Miss Belly, I have to admit it. I am making up my own rules again. But please I am only doing it to help my students understand more simply what is happening here. Really it is a simple rule and I promise I would try not to make up many more rules. Let me try to explain it again. If the start with adding, the co-rule says to subtract and if you are subtracting the co-rule says to then add. It really isn't too complicated. Do you get it now Miss Billy? Why now it seems that your co-rule isn't really that hard to remember. But what do you do with the sign then? Do you have to use the co-rule with that one too? No, only the cosine. How about we dance, huh? Are you ready? Yes, I am ready please. Let us now dance. Are the students ready? Miss Belly, the students are falling asleep. Let's get some water to spray them and then they will really be awake to dance. Don't you hate those classes right after lunch? Okay, the dance is simple. All you have to do is remember to say, cosine, cosine, sine, sine. If you say it a few times, cosine, cosine, sine, sine, cosine, cosine, sine, sine, cosine, cosine, sine, sine, you will get it. Can you remember that? That is simple. Anyone can remember cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Okay, class. Let's all get on our feet and dance. I really like to do the cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Now the finished formula looks like this. You start with the cosine of A plus B, then you write the equal sine followed by cosine, cosine, sine, sine. You have to leave some space to insert the A and B in the correct places and then apply that co-rule I made up. So Miss Belly. It turns out that the cosine of A plus B is equal to cosine A times the cosine B minus sine A times the sine of B. The co-rule changes the sine. Was that simple? Yes, Mr. Huss, that was simple. Let's do some more dancing and then we can write that formula on the board again so everyone can get it. Thank you very much for this dance, Mr. Huss. Please tell Mr. Bogner that we will like to see him dance too very soon.